Okay, I want to talk about password protecting directories when you're using Apache as your web server. So I have my HT access file here and what I've done is I've gone in and I've changed the options to use a plus sign which means I'm allowed to browse through directories. This is the folder right here that we're looking at and the HT access file is in this folder so I'm allowed to look at these files and I can look at any one of them. I can click on any one of them, go back to the listing, not a problem. If I were to come in here and change this to A-, minus, save that, refresh this, okay, I've turned off directory browsing, but I'm not password protecting the folder yet. To do that, what we have to do in the access, HT access file is we have to add these few lines right here. The authorization type, so our authentication type, this is basic. So this is just going to be a username and a password and it'll be passed from the browser up to the web server. The web server will then validate it against a HT password file. The authorization name, this is really just a descriptor. Uh, we're talking about the folder and any subfolders from this point on. The password that we're going to use, the username and password will work here and in any subfolders. The file, this is the path and the file name on my computer where I'm going to save this file. This is where the username and password files, I can call this anything I want. This folder is not accessible from the browser. Like I can't go up outside of the HT docs folder and then into the user pass folder to get to this. So I can call this whatever I want. If I were to put this inside of a web accessible folder, the fact that it starts with .ht means my default settings for Apache are going to prevent this from being sent back to the browser. So it is protected that way as well. Um, I just decided to create this folder and this is where I'm going to put it. And then require valid user means scan through the list of users and only allow a user that is inside that file to be used to access this folder. Now, um, I have a couple of examples of the command that we're going to use. The first command is the HT password. This is the name of the program that we're going to run. So from the command line, I'm going to type HT password. Um, you might have to specify the path, but if it's available in the path already, then you just have to use the name of the program. Hyphen C means to create the file. This is the first user that you're doing. And then you have the path to the file and then the file itself. This right here, this is the path and the file name that we're going to be putting as the second parameter here. Third, you're going to put the username. So I will create one user. As soon as I do this and hit enter, it's going to prompt me for a password. And then I can repeat this process again and again and again. I just don't need to add the dash C on subsequent ones. So I'll keep that inside of here. I will leave this file as a code just for you so you can use it as a reference. Now, once I have this basic authentication, what happens is when I refresh this, I save this file and I refresh this, I'm getting an error. The error means this file doesn't exist. That's why I'm getting this error. I want to be prompted for an actual username and password. So I will come in here. This is the folder that I'm in. It is the HT password uh, location. This is where I'm going to create the file. So I will do HT password. That's the program that I'm running on Linux or Mac dash C. So create the new file and inside my current location, which is here, I want to create the file HT password. Okay. That's the command to do it. And then I want to provide the first username. So I'm going to create one called Steve. There we are prompted for password. Okay, retype it. Great. Passwords added for user Steve. Let's create another user called Bob. So, Bob. Password for Bob. Okay, I have two users now, Steve and Bob. If I come back to the browser, now when I refresh this, I don't get the error. Now I'm actually being prompted. So what is the username? What's the password? I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do Steve. Sign in. Oh, 
Oh, of course. Um, copy and paste error. If I come back in here, you'll see my two commands. I left the dash C on each one of them. That means that uh, when I was creating these, what I actually did was I created the one with Steve and then I used dash C again, which overwrote the file. So Bob is now currently the only user inside that file. I need to now add Steve in. And what I will do is I will get rid of the dash C. It's the same file, HT password. Steve, there we go. Okay, copy and paste. Big, <laughs> or uh, I'm just retyping the same line here. All right, jump back to the browser. Let's try this again. So, Steve, password. There we go. All right, this is what I want to see now. I have disabled directory browsing in my HT access, so I'm getting the forbidden message. This is not the not authorized message. This is hey, you don't have permission to browse, but I can get to this file because I am now logged in. Now, if I come in here and I change this, I can change the user so I can specify that, you know what, it's got to be Bob. Bob's the only user that is allowed. Now, if I try to log in with Steve, nope, can't do it. And if I say cancelled, here's the authorization required. This is the HTTP status code. If we inspect this and networks the tab that we want, refresh this page, hit cancel. There we are, 401. This is the authorization required status code coming back from the web server. So Apache saying, hey, no, you're not allowed to do this. All right, let's try one more time. We'll try it with Bob. Sorry. When you require a specific user, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to add the word user in front of this. So it's either valid hyphen user, which was what we had originally, or you can say require user and then the specific name of a user if you want. So if we want Bob, we'll save that. Now we can log in with Bob. And there we are. So we have 304, the cached version of the file, but we're accessing it. And we can access anything inside the folder, except we cannot browse it unless we change this back to a plus sign, in which case browsing does work. And our password does work. So that's how you create passwords, is with the HT password command, and then this is the default name, the name that is recommended that you use. That way, if you put it inside of a, f a folder that is uh, outward facing, it still won't be sent back by the web server. You provide whatever usernames you want, and then you decide, is it one user? Is it any valid user from that file that is allowed to be used? The authorization name, this is the realm where the access will work. So this folder or any subfolders um, right here, this folder or any subfolders from here. All right, so I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.